when you have when you get fucking any room to really yeah. move around, it's absolutely horrifying. But Wizzy's a little yeah, bit of a different beast, I guess. And Martha wants to keep like down throw and F throw on Falcon at low percent. Yeah. Because his tech roll is so bad that you can just tech <laughs> chase him until you can get him in the air. Yeah. And that kind of leaves a it's got them to do it. So as long as you can keep Falcon out, I think that this is okay, but... but I mean, 30 seconds, 20 seconds into the match, we see Wizzy kind of cornering, uh, cornering Rishi. On the get-up attack. And that'll do it. Quick, quick first stock from Wizzy. Oh, yeah. It's, it was because of the warm-ups. <laughs> Methodical. Exactly. Yeah, and I want to see Rishi move in on space a little bit more. He needs to take his time, because... Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you go down a stock and you rush to try and make it up, you're yeah. going to lose a lot, but you need to slowly take space in this matchup. And especially someone as patient as Wizrobe is. There's yeah, Wizrobe will wait you out. Yeah, there's you are going to have to be the one to approach, and you're going to have to do it methodically, or he will take advantage of it. Oh, baby. And that looks baby. very similar to first stock. <laughs> yeah, he's Wizzy's doing nothing but pushing me into a corner and ending can't. Rishi's grinning, though. He was like, he lost his stock, and he loved it. Hey, that's, that's yeah, that's, that's the vibe you got to go to. That's the heart of melee. And I, I really believe if you you know you sit down, you get zero death first stock. The only thing you can really think of is I just have to do it right back. Yep. You know, or I am capable of doing it right back. You have to believe. Exactly. If you don't believe in yourself, how can Mark do anything? How can anyone believe in you if you can't believe in yourself? Exactly. Okay. Um, Rishi kind of, like you said, mentioned he's getting a little comfortable with approaching Wizzy, it seems. And this is, a, this is a huge conversion. Oh, the back air would have been nice, actually. Good damage, but... Back air was a DI mix-up, for sure. And ideally, having Falcon off stage with Marth is, you know, theoretically an instant, an instant kill. Yeah. Yeah, the key to this matchup is going to be gimping Falcon, for yeah. sure. Falcon's going to convert so... Especially Wizzy. Wizzy yeah. Falcon is going to convert so hard on everything he gets. From Texas side. Up throw? Okay. Doesn't really get anything off that throw. Yeah. Hard to hard to be hard to still take damage off Wizzy coming back. Oh, this is looking grim right now. Oh. And yep, tech error from Rishi. Yeah, that, that was a little rough. Wizzy was he just commanding the whole time, but it seemed like it seemed as the you know relatively short match went on, Rishi kind of gained a little confidence yeah. there. To be, but to be fair, one of his harder stages is out of the way. Maybe he thought that. Maybe he wanted to get yeah. it out of the way earlier so he could build momentum later in the set on stages that he likes. And that makes sense. Um, I've seen people do that a little bit more lately. It used to just be like, I don't want to be there. Yeah. I will go there later. It's fine. Yeah, especially at the high level, you see people even like, you know, in, in like late grand situations, first set even like, you know, go wearing out your Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's definitely a shift in mentality as of recent. For sure. I can't tell you if that's what he was thinking. No, but, but we, we can only we can only guess. Maybe he loves it. Yeah. And I think really, you know, I've said this a ton today, but in 2018, I really don't think, you know, all these uh, kind of archaic beliefs we have about stage selection that, you know, oh, uh, Dreamland is bad for Marth. I really don't think a lot of that holds water nowadays with, I think matchups are really play style dependent. You I know? think the most important thing now is personal preference. Go to the stage you're most comfortable on. Totally agree. Yeah, and, uh, you know, play style can... You know, I know a bunch of Marth that love Dreamland. Yeah. I don't mind it now, honestly. Yeah. It's, you know, if it suits your play style and you find to be successful there, there's really, you know, it's just because someone told you not to go there when you first started playing, it really doesn't matter anymore. Don't listen to those people. <laughs> don't listen to the past. <laughs> Modern melee. A little bit of an overcommittal on the down tilt there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Rishi doesn't, okay. you know, really have an option not to challenge Wizzy on ledge, but he's it's not not working out too well for him. Well, he him needs right to now. challenge it, but he should challenge it in a little bit more of a low committal way. Yeah, he can down keep the down tilt a little bit farther out. Oh, and he waited just enough for the tech to Clean edge guard. As we began. And this is this is looking way better than game one already. Yeah. And I definitely think you know Rishi is is a you know a player that's thinking critically enough to be able to to draw from the last game. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna create the adjustments he needs. Okay. Yep. Rishi, Rishi trying to hold ground and Wizzy having none of that. Marth wants to wants to keep him out, so those swings like that, like he thinks he's coming and he swings, but Falcon's so fast he can just burst his movement speed in there. And he... Oh, that's huge. That, that is, is huge. very very smart move from from Rishi there. Randall gotta, with a little bit of an assist. Gotta go for it. I think Wizzy lets him back a little bit. I think that's fine. He doesn't want to risk it by the ledge. And and Rishi doing a good job taking his time here. Right, he's gotta get these uh, these conversions here. Oh wow, the missed Very nice. He's gonna do a lot for him. Nice. Oh that was, that was that awesome was <laughs> no impact. 
That is huge. Wow, that was so impressive from Rishi, especially considering the first of the first game. Yeah, that little no impact set him up for the kill there. It was beautiful. Yeah, Absolutely that was beautiful. Wow, that was really nice. I love seeing the new Marth stuff too from from players like Rishi and Zane. Yeah, I, I am a hundred percent on the Zane train right now. I, I think I'm in love. Yeah, it's. And especially since, you know, another person who you didn't really travel until, you know, relatively, mm -hmm. we didn't see a ton of. And yeah, there's there's a new Marth meta going on. Let's I love bring it. Yeah, on. it is, a, revo it is yeah. a revolution out here. Yeah, and there's, you know, there's like a level of defensive play we really haven't seen before, and it's really changing how we view matchups, I think. God willing, I would put a ring on Zane. I'm, <laughs> I'm in love, you know? He's the man's Marth is a thing yeah, of beauty. Yeah, I could watch it all day. And Rishi is nothing to. Nothing to sneeze at either. And cut from the same cloth too. You know, yeah. they, they have a lot of similarities in their playstyle. I think that they labbed a lot of stuff together. Yep. Um, it's kind of the same way the 20 GX guys are doing. Yeah, there's there's definitely a, I know everyone's in the Discord. Everyone's. Uh, yeah, 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 they're all talking. Yeah, at this point, you know, there's. Char okay, character mains stick together. Yeah. Okay, like what we is, have no what choice. Is he thinking? Um, He's scratching I'm, the chin. Yeah, not sure what's going on, but it seems you know it's a, it looks like a wizard rope set. <laughs> this is an obvious counter pick. Um, yep. <laughs> A lot of space for Wizzy to take his time to find his approaches. And Rishi is soul searching right now. You see a lot of, uh, especially like I mentioned Cyrox earlier, who's gone through this whole mentality shift where, you know, okay, I have I have the tech, I have, you know, I have the execution, but what about my competitive mentality? I know there people are reading up, people are, you know, looking to meditation, how to improve their gameplay in aspects that are outside of the controller. Yeah, people are really pushing Pushing the meta of competition yeah. right now, I would say. And especially as we develop as, you know, kind of more of a sport. Mm -hmm. It's important to treat it's important to treat it like it. Oh, he's he's putting the hoodie on, he's ooh. smiling at the Oh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, what a looker. Ooh. ooh, got a little thumbs up. What a cutie, okay. Oh, looking looking good, Rishi. <laughs> I, f I feel like he just he's like responded to, us. to you. Yeah. yeah, he's like, I heard that. <laughs> Hi, Rishi. He might hear us. I if can you hear can the hear clicks. Me blink twice. <laughs> oh, he knows. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, anyway, good luck. Yeah, going into game three here on Dreamland. Uh, Wizard Up's kind of Yeah. This is this is scary for Marth. Yeah, this stage hurts. If you can't get the, the kills off conversion at low percent, Marth Rytus is going to set in and. On this stage, it's so much trouble in this matchup. And with, you know, Wizrobe, he will he will dash dance in place and throw out aerials in place all damn day. He'll just hang out and look at you. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> and with giving him this much space to, to really just avoid you, wait to wait for your approach is, is scary. It was a very risky uh, approaching down there. He approached from, like, max distance if it was going to hit. But Rishi did just look patient. Oh, really nice. Uh, hard to at that percent to kind of <laughs> close off back row. Yeah, Rishi was very comfortable just moving back and holding center stage. Yep. Uh, it didn't really work out for him, but he's back. Oh, that's good. Nice. Crown yep. And that's something that like Wizrobe and the 20GX guys kind of started. It was like Sheiks and Falcons. They're like, let's walk up and crouch cancel. Yep. Look at this, guys. What are they going to do? <laughs> and it turns out that if Marth does it, he slides right into tipper range sometimes. Yep. So. so really great, really great. Movement. Yeah, really great awareness of, of Falcon's percent and the option. I expect nothing less from Rishi. Oh, yeah. Big brain Rishi. Everybody's got a big brain now, I swear. Everyone's so good at melee. Like, look at this, man. 200 IQ. <laughs> oh, wow. let's go! I did not expect that. Oh, wow. Okay, that was definitely like sort of a, a adjustment on a flub from Rishi. Yeah, come up with Barrel Flight is very dangerous. But that's fine. Rishi still has a, a pretty comfortable lead here. Yeah. I mean, this is like one conversion, but... Yeah. But, I mean, both of them, you know, playing patient enough to... Even if not uh, big strings, straight hits matter. Yeah. And I love the first hit in air crab there, Wizzy. Oh. That was oh, that is a huge stock swing there. And just like that. And at one, 131, it's not, you know, the easiest kill for Mark right now. No, because this is going to happen. You need... You can't really convert off of anything. I've said this is, you know, uh, recovering against Marth is like the least fun mini game in Melee. <laughs> it's, you know, you, you go up, you hang out for a little bit, you come back, get swatted away, yeah. come back, 30 seconds you go by. You hit a lot. Yeah. You're not really playing anymore. Yes. Exactly. Ooh, Ooh. Saved him. Very interesting, yeah. Like, get up attacks are like pretty famously good against Marth. Especially uh, like Pikachu get up attack. Yeah. Rishi's been doing a great job of uh, choosing different places to delay his uh, double jump on recovery. Kind of keep Wizzy, keep oh, Wizzy yeah. on his toes. 
Yeah, people forget that um, it's not just like spacing mix up, it's timing mix up, it's yep. move mix up. There's so many variables that come into the way you approach getting your next hit. So what started as a pretty, uh, you know, looks like a pretty good game for uh, for Rishi. Was kind of coming back and, and yeah, doing work. Yeah, Wizro really took a hold of this on his third stock. That's the issue with this this stage in this matchup, especially is you hit that Marthritis percent, and there's yep. just nothing you can do. Yeah, and then you're stuck, you know, just just fishing over and over again. Yeah, you're hitting these dinky little moves <laughs> that are doing nothing. Yeah. Who's gonna attack that? Man, that grab box is whack. It's crazy. <laughs> it's whack. It's actually crazy. Wow. Oh, very nice, very nice. <laughs> he, sh early. he shows wave dash back like three times, and then he wave dashes in for the grab. Yep. He's just like planting the, the idea in Wizard Robe's mind that he should overshoot. So. Oh, yeah. It's. I mean, we talked about, you know, critically thinking about this. There's definitely conditioning going on. And you have to do it so quick. It's, you have to do it so quick in this game. You have like five minutes to convince someone you're going to play away and then yeah. beat them with an opposite way. I love that sound effect. It's uh, wow. Falcon sound effects are so pleasing to people my ears. People don't talk about sound effects in this game enough. I think it has one of the best sound effects and soundtracks in the game. Falco's F Smash feels like it hits like a freight train. Hey, what more could you want from a game? Okay. <laughs> and Falcon screaming is, you know, music to my ears. Yeah, I, oh, I love it. Not getting much off that. Yeah, Rishi, wow. like, really, I mean, this is not out of the realm of possibility, to be honest. He just, like, yeah. has to play perfectly. Exactly. But, you know, 193 is a, even with knockback at this percentage, it's, it's tough. Yeah, yeah, pretty much anyway. It's game three for Wizro. Where? So where do you think Rishi's going to want to go now? Because in the past, I would say Fountain, but mm. it's. I feel like it's a toss-up now because of preference. Yeah. Um. I know people really go back and forth against, uh, with Fountain against Marth. Personally, I'm not a fan because, okay. yeah, I think his range in that situation, combined with, like, I don't think the space to move around benefits Falcon a ton of the matchup. Platforms definitely benefit Marth, so I'd be interested to see. I think they see. do, yeah. I'd be interested. What about, uh, what about your thoughts? So I think, I think everything you said is pretty much I agree with, mm -hmm. other than, like, Falcon recently, stomp on the lower platforms You're is, like, right. insane. And Marth doesn't get, like, he doesn't get tippers off the platforms, yeah. really, so it's like, I think the stage layout is is good for him um, but it's again I feel like it's preference like yeah for more sure. and more there's like Falcons who just love Fountain. oh yeah and uh, you mentioned you see I see a lot more uh, I know in the past kind of stomp was considered to be you know something so committal so mm -hmm. yeah but I see it definitely has a place especially with um, you think shield DI some people you see yeah, stomping absolutely. the back of shield stomping you know spamming stomp uh, stomp spamming stomp spamming stomp tongue twister spamming stomp spamming stomp <laughs> spamming stomp <laughs> Um, yeah, but I, I would. It'll be very interesting to see. Mm. Rishi taking a second. He's thinking as hard as we are, you know, yeah. If not harder. <laughs> Using that big brain. Was he giving this kind of like head cocked look? Like, <laughs> yeah, was he staring him down? <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? Yeah, what are you waiting this for? This is my job. What are you doing? <laughs> Rishi reminds us all to take a big drink of Still water. My Eight ounces every hour, guys. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, bot. Bring it Especially on. out in the hot sun. And here we are. Yes, I love Stay Hydrated Five. I love it. A great invention. Uh, we are. We did make it to Fountain. And I'd like to. I like to see how Rishi's gonna go about this because I think that this is a harder stage to discern what to do. Agreed. Um, with almost every character because there's so much variance. Yeah, and you know, a lot of times interactions don't go. Sometimes they don't go as planned, and then to adjust immediately after that with the changing platforms. Sometimes you're on the right side, and you get hit to the left side, and you don't even know what's over there. Yep. You haven't seen over there in like 30 seconds. Exactly. It's the wild guess. It's like, where am I? How did I get here? <laughs> Where'd the platform go? Yeah. Rizzy rolling into center, but he does get caught out for it. And there's another no impact. Different that, uh, platform height, right? That was, yeah, definitely. And that was... Man, that's that is such an interesting option that I haven't really seen a ton of mods do, but he's finding a lot of success off of it. Yeah, if you can get the grab on top platform, you'll usually get a lot. So I like that mods are finding ways to get the hits that they need. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't don't think about the next move they want after the move they get. Yeah. But uh, Jakespeare was actually telling me earlier. It's uh, he made it a. He was saying it's like pool, basically. Like, yeah. You want to hit the shot, like you want to put the ball in, but you want to set yourself up for the next shot. Too. Yeah. And that's especially hard when, you know, a lot of melee is, is field chart, you know? You have, yeah. I'm going to do this in this situation, it's going to lead to this, and 
when in reality it's, you know, you can't be too many steps ahead. And Melee 2 oh, is a lot baby. less flowcharty than most fighting games because there's defensive oh, there's, counterplay the entire time. There's so many variables. Oh. DI changed the world. <laughs> yes. I was talking earlier about, like, you know, every once in a while I'll go back and watch, like, Genesis Ooh. 1 VODs just because I want to see DI be hype again. <laughs> you mean bad again? Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Oh, they, they lived at 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2007, everyone just held forward. Oh, like, holding in on DI, yeah. just running at each other, fighting. Nobody it's, was patient. Bring back charity to DI. Really Speaking nice. Of. Yeah, that was very charity to DI. <laughs> Your timing impeccable as always. So, uh, not looking as committing for Wizzy right now, but Still a tough looking spot. firmly in control. And that knee's going to put him off. He's going to re-grab, probably stomp or reverse knee. Oh, no, no double jump. jump. Wow, and that's 3-1 for Wizzy. It looked convincing, honestly. Yeah. Got a little chit-chat going on. Interesting that Yoshi's was the only game that he won, because that's such a volatile stage, too. Like, yeah. I feel like... But, but then he doesn't have to worry about Marthritis, too. Yeah. So. And I guess Wizzy being, you know, hanging back a little bit more as they play, maybe that, would, that was advantageous for Rishi. Mm -hmm. But well played by both players. He's just like, oh, yeah, you want to go get dinner tonight? <laughs> yeah. You hungry? I'd love to talk it over with you. <laughs> Nah, man, I'm busy. Get some notes on the matchup? He's like, no, sorry. Uh, it's not, I got back to play. Uh, I just won. Yeah. Um, I gotta play. Uh, yeah. I gotta warm up again. Okay, moving on. I can't that. Ooh. Looks like we're gonna have SFAT and King Momo up next. That's, wow, another That's interesting gonna be fun, one. Yeah. yeah. That's not uh, a matchup I have really seen either. I'm sure it's happened, but. Yeah, but I.